Greetings comrades, Soviet Gaming here. Today I want to talk about Arcane Labyrinth and specifically about the Dismal Maze mode. I made a mistake, I started making a video, but my microphone was over there and nobody heard anything. <laughs> so first of all, I'll cover the Dismal mode mechanics and after that we will follow through the labyrinth and I will give you additional tips how to be able to beat it. So if you're just afraid of it, don't be worried about that. This is not as hard as it seems and I will help you to get through it with like most of the groups. So even the beginner and experienced players will be able to get something useful in this video. So what's the difference between Dismal Maze and the normal like, arcane labyrinth other than that cool red background? Obviously Dismal Maze is way harder. First of all you will have the debuffs. When you pick in the Dismal mode or normal mode you will be able to see the Dismal Luck over here. Those are three debuffs that will be on you. On the first floor, the first one will be activated. On the second one, first and the second one will be activated. On the third floor, you will have all the debuffs on you. And those can be quite painful. So be really careful, read through them and make sure that you are able to finish the labyrinth before entering. Because failing it kinda sucks. Moreover, in the Dismal mode, you can't use all the factions, you have only 4 permitted factions and those are listed here. If you are a uh, you know, single faction player, if you focus on one faction, sometimes you can be really unlucky and you might not be able to finish the labyrinth with the heroes that you have. So make sure that you have the right heroes for the job and uh, you can beat the proper debuffs. You can do Dismal mode just like the normal labyrinth every two days. You can pick only one, so if you go into the normal mode you won't be able to do Dismal after that and vice versa. Moreover, every eight days, that's four rounds, the Dismal mode debuffs will change and you will have the different setup of permitted faction and uh, debuffs. If you skipped labyrinth, you haven't done normal, we haven't, you haven't done Dismal one, you will get the bonus of additional loot in the dismal mode and that is pretty cool so for the lazy people like me it works really really well but it's strongly not advised to skip anything because rewards here are way better than in the normal one i'll talk about that a bit later all right so what else is different about the dismal maze uh first of all the relics the relics will be located at uh, specific points at those lines with the, at the rows with the uh, relic guardians and you can see them straight away when you enter the floor and even though those relics look just like the normal ones they are a little bit different like they're totally different so read through the effect before picking uh, where to go before selecting the right path for you because you will have a limited amount of relic it's three per floor and at the last floor you will kill the boss and it won't be necessary so it's eight relics up to the last boss so yeah, make sure that you pick the right path. About pathing, it's really advised to follow the middle path because that will allow you to uh, go sideways if you see the strong enemy and pick the fight that suits you better. But sometimes, like in this scenario, it's better to go around and fight the enemies. Moreover, if you're strong enough, you really want to take out all the enemies on your path because that will give you more resources. Talking about the resources, in the Dismal Maze, if you kill all the enemies and uh, finish it, and on the third floor, we'll talk about the third floor later, that's a really different topic, you will take out all the hard enemies, um, the rewards will be way, way more than for the complete in the normal one. The boss rewards are kind of the same as in the normal one, but overall gains from the guards is way higher because of this uh, random chest, because of the gold coin and hero experience drops. And overall, after completing this small maze, you will get two times more gold than the normal labyrinth. Wait for it. Seven times more XP. That is crazy. And you will get four days worth of buying dust in the store. So uh, in my case, it's uh, 2.4k dust per dismal maze. And you will get unsignificant boost to the labyrinth coins it's not that huge so it's kind of the same but xp and dust bonuses will therefore worth it in the long run so if you know that you can go through it it's a good idea to go for it as for the fight themselves they are pretty much the same other than the floor three fights you can use mercenaries here no problem so it's uh, available for you like just like in the normal one and uh, other than some factions are locked out for you you basically do the same stuff. The enemies are a little bit tougher on the first and the second floor. On the third floor they can get quite reckless, but that's because of the debuffs mainly. So 
don't be afraid of the dismal maze. Let's go kill those guys. When you have an option to go for the normal guard or for uh, Praetorian guard, which is basically elite enemy group, if you can beat the elite group, go for them because they will give you better rewards and that will give you more loot. So obviously going for the harder enemies worth it more. Moreover, as I said before, try to make the path including enemies mostly, so don't skip a lot of stuff if you can beat them. There we go, the level 2 boss, we are finally here, let's get him down and uh, if there were troubles I will tell you what to do, probably there won't be any troubles with the level 2. Level 3 should be the one where it should start getting way harder, yeah, there we go. So. The uh, boss from the levels, the floor bosses, will drop you pick of three relics, and that's the only place where you can pick the relics. So yeah, if you pick the ones that you need, we'll take this one, that works way better for us. Uh, take the loot, and after the floor 2 you won't be able to go to the hard mode, at least for now. I, I think there will be hard mode dismal maze later, I can't wait for that, but right now we are following to floor 3. And here we have the new debuff, so all three of those are active right now. Moreover, we have those guys over here, Praetorian guards, uh, you know, chief enemies basically. There are two enemy groups and you gotta deal with both of those in order to get past them. But the rewards here will be way better, as you can see here, based on the XP and the gold. Uh, so we will try to take those guys out and I will tell you what to do if you get stuck and you can get past them a bit later. If the labyrinth is hard for you and you feel that it's getting harder and harder, when you're selecting the enemies to fight like those relic guardians, pick the ones that don't conflict with your faction. So for example, right now I have mainly wilder faction and those graveborn guys will be a good option for me because I have advantage over them. And I should avoid mauler groups because those will give a lot of trouble to me. So yeah, pick the fights that will be more beneficial for you if you just starting out so now we are going for those two-step fight and uh, if you have trouble with that if you feel like oh my god there are maulers oh my god there are wilders and i don't want to fight maulers for example and i feel like i'm losing this i can press on this button and refresh the current enemy formation that will give you the random formation and you can do it only three times per labyrinth let's just do that so you can see how it works bam we got the graveborn and wilders so this will be way easier for us but before doing that i would strongly advise to go for the fight yeah it's really hard and can be abandoned we'll talk about that a bit later make sure that you can beat them so you want to try it you want to try to fight those guys and if you have issues if your guys are being decimated you can always press pause as always try again if you're dying all the time you can exit the battle press on the fight, press abandon, and they will just disappear. You will lose out a little bit of extra reward, but even if you skip all the Praetorian guards, if you just go around them or skip them all together, you will still get more rewards than from the normal labyrinth. So it's therefore worth it to go to the hard mode, uh, to the dismal maze, basically, um, if you can beat the last boss, let's put it like that. So right, let's try to beat those guys and see if we'll be able to do that with our current team. Um, yeah, it seems to be working pretty well, since we have Heinz. <laughs> uh, Saurus is dead, so as you can see right now I have the trouble, so I can switch the heroes around. Maybe that will be better for us, probably not. But uh, I will try to do the right combination. And if you will die anyway, it doesn't matter that much for me, because we can still use Dura's Tears. So I'm okay with that, I can sacrifice some guys right now. Um, yeah, we kill those guys, no problem. We lost Saurus though, he's a little bit too weak. And now we gotta deal with the second group. You can use mercenaries, because that will help you with those situations. And uh, if you don't have a lot of heroes, you can just keep those fights all together. Let's try to beat those guys with our uh, combined forces. This guy, good. does he have a lot of... Nah, he doesn't have a good gear. Alright, uh, let's give it a try. Hopefully we'll be able to beat them, but it doesn't seem to be working for us. Look at that, we're being decimated, oh no. I specifically won't replay that. If we will die, we will die, and I'll show you what to do in the case if you can't beat the battle, whatever, you try to restart it a lot of times, and bam, you're dead. And then you try again, you try again, and uh, you try to beat the enemies, but you're losing more heroes, I will just get the random guys, and we will lose them as well, oh no. Uh, maybe we will be able to do that though, I'm not sure, probably not. So yeah, we are losing everyone and like, oh my god, we are in despair. What do we do after that? We use Durastears. You can use Durastears 
three times. If you got the bonus uh, like I do right now, you can use it six times. So in case if you missed one of the arcane labyrinth, you can use them six times. Let's use them. Uh, probably that should be enough for us for the rest of the run and begin battle. And after using Duras Tears, there is a small life hack like that. If you beat the first group and use the Duras Tears on the second one, you can use the heroes from the first formation again. I don't know if it's a bug or a feature, but I definitely like that because that allows you to exploit the enemies and use your strongest heroes two times for those hard fights. Let's try those guys and see how it will go. Uh, bam, we got the full energy and ice going in and everyone is dead. Rip, we are winning this most likely or maybe not who knows of course we are it's uh understandable that eins will decimate everyone there we go so this is a small life hack for you guys if you uh last the second fight in those sequence you can use the duress tier and recover all the heroes for you so for example you have this situation right here you can go around if you are out of duress tiers or afraid or you can go straight for this boss and try to fight him as well uh, let's get the relic. So, for example, I'm going for those guys in the middle. They are tough and I'm like, I don't have option. For example, th those two camps are hard enemies and I don't I don't, I don't, don't know how to fight them. I, I am running out of Dura Zeros. I have only one left to use and I don't want to fight them. I just press abandon. Confirm. And bam, there we go. We can skip them. It doesn't hurt us that much, guys. Trust me. You can do that. You will still get a really good rewards for this. And uh, just make sure that you go to the last boss and kill him. So if the third floor is really hard for you, you can uh, skip as much enemies in, as possible and get to the last boss and it will still be better. So yeah, that's important stuff for you. And this is interesting. So over here we have a lot of uh, chief Praetorian guards and I'm afraid I won't be able to take them out. Uh, specifically those Mauler guys, that's definitely not the thing I want to fight. Let's try to switch them. Um yeah, I think I will have to skip them. <laughs> yeah, they're totally wrecking me, so I'm pressing abandon them because I don't wanna lose it and I don't wanna fight those guys as well because I'm afraid as hell. Or we still have a lot of Dura Steers so we can take them out, let's do that. And then we are winning the second fight right now and we got our additional rewards. So sometimes you don't have to be afraid, sometimes you can just beat them if you are being persistent enough. And there we go, uh, the last boss is actually way easier than those double groups, so let's take a look at his power, uh, no he's not, he's way stronger, but that shouldn't be a major problem, the problem is that they are Mauler enemies, and sometimes it's beneficial to leave one of those change things for the last boss fight, I used it just to show it to you and now I regret it a little bit, let's see if we'll be able to beat the guy, hmm... Oh yeah, we have Ainz, it should be a problem, look at that, they all got decimated, seriously. Alright, so yeah, that will be a win for us. So it's really beneficial to do this maids when you have that event that doubles your gains from the Arcane Labyrinth, and if you have that 80% bonus, so if you are stressed about it, I was like that for a while, just go through it every once in a while when you have the bonus. So do the normal one. Although, if you are trying to maximize your gains, you really, really want to do it on a daily basis. You want to switch to this one because that will give you more rewards than the hard mode of the normal labyrinth. So yeah, with the Dismal Maze you got the higher reward but higher risks of being wrecked here and not finishing it. It's up to you to take it or not. I strongly advise you guys to do it because the rewards are therefore worth it, at least for me, and it's up to you to decide. Let me know in the comments what do you think about the Dismal Maids and what do you think about the current guide. I know I'm a bit late with this, but I was really gathering information to make it the best guide possible for you. While you're going there, make sure to leave a like button, share this video with your friends and guildies, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Make sure to hit that bell button as well so you won't miss any new videos. Also, you might want to check the pinned comment in the video description for the links. We have the AFK Arena. Uh, playlist over there, we have the Discord link where we have a lot of people talking about AFK Arena uh, and uh, we have the social media that you might want to see as well. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it for now guys, thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it, Soviet out, the Svidania.